Rubbles, rubbles, wisdom keepers, wisdom seekers. Welcome back to Wisdom Drops, your source for daily drops of wisdom and savvy cat astrology. Back again, Tanya Lasagna, your host, layering together all the nodal noodles and celestial sauce into something digestible. And today we are discussing it the Aries full moon, which is perfecting today, October 9th, 2022. Happy October, everybody. How are you doing? It is a fantastic month in the Midwest, as that is my favorite season. When you see the trees changing color, the air feels crisp, the skies are a bright blue, and it is pretty darn awesome outside with the apple cider and all the fall isms. If you are new to this channel, welcome. Do subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that like button regardless of who you are. And if this video provides you any value whatsoever, I also encourage you, in addition to liking it, to go on ahead and put a comment down below and even share with a friend who you feel might have some benefit from checking it out. So with no further ado, you can also check out wisdomdrobsastrology.com with Z's Wisdom Drops Astrology. Link is down below for your personal natal chart reading. And I'm about to jump on into this reading for you. Here we go. You see the chart in front of you. It is a 16 degree perfection of an Aries new moon. If you personally have an Aries moon, excuse me, full moon, if you personally have an Aries moon, you're going to be experiencing a lot of intense energy right now. If you are a Libra sun, you're going to also be experiencing a lot of intense energy right now or moon or rising. If you have your moon, sun or rising in either of the other cardinal signs, Capricorn and Cancer, you're also going to be feeling a lot of energy right now because it's in a square configuration. So just to all y'all cardinal signs with your key three and cardinal energies, you know, just be aware it's a high energy vibe right now. You've probably felt the energy building the last couple of weeks if you're particularly sensitive to that sort of thing. And, you know, now we're at this culminating period. So you're going to be like really feeling the vibe. What is the vibe? Aries is the vibe of spontaneity, of spunkiness, of persona, personality, um, this sort of like, you know, special character that is really just unique to in and of itself. And Moon and Aries folks, especially, you know, I know we're all experiencing this energy collectively right now. So I just want to talk about a few people who have it natally, who I know of. There is Angelina Jolie, Rihanna, Pink, and Billy Joe from Green Day. Okay. So these are like people, every single one of them, they're obviously all like in the spotlight in their own way. Right. But they're all very talented and they all kind of walk like they know they're talented. And it's kind of this like ambivalent, like, so what I'm talented, get over it. And it's not necessarily cocky. Right. Um, but it's a sort of like confidence that comes from personality or a confidence that comes from being secure with oneself right somebody who just knows who they are and they're cool with it so they expect you to be cool with it too that is very moon and aries so i say all that to say this is you right now and if it's not you right now you have the opportunity for it to be you right now and that means that if you're looking at this chart like what the hell does this mean then if nothing else take away that it's time for you to shine as your own unique individual as you, you so wish, right? So if you want to be, you know, better about being an entrepreneur, or maybe you're trying to somehow make yourself stand out as a part, you know, from the crowd, and it's like you want to get something launched off the ground, or you want to go ahead and just set some intentions for being a better version of yourself, because you're realizing that the stories that you tell yourself about yourself and your life are those which you kind of like follow at the end of the day, and you're realizing, hey, maybe I need to stand up and be a little bit more assertive, or maybe I need to stand up and be a little bit more on top of whatever. It's a great time to do that, and if you've been doing that already, in theory, it's going to be rewarding to you right now because you'll start to see the results of your work, of your efforts. And the thing about Aries energy is that it's always like about the spunk. And what is spunk? Like I'm using this very like, it's kind of an extra term. I like spunk, but spunk is like, um, it's a sort of energy. It's a sort of like enthusiasm, right? It has a certain sense of like being excited about being you know people talk about that a lot with like 
puppies or um you know kids when they're youthful and they're fun and they're happy and they're just like oh my god life you know just because they're alive there's no like need to be excited necessarily but maybe there is and you're like you know you at this point in time have a reason to be extra additionally excited just because you have the opportunity to be and that is kind of the beauty of Aries that's what really draws me and I think many others to Aries energy is this fact that Aries folks are so like they are excitable they are like enthusiastic and they do tend to have their roots like in a per a certain place like they have a sense of self and they stand for something whether or not you agree with them that's a different topic but generally speaking Aries people they have a strong opinion or they have a strong stance it doesn't mean that their mind can't be changed because Gemini is their third house but yeah anyway it's just it's a good it's a good opportunity a good time right now to consider like hey maybe I can embrace this Aries energy to make whatever I need in my life more unique and established more unique and established or uniquely established because Aries is like this one of a kind kind of energy like all Aries people possess that right okay so moving along into this then I think that in addition to all of that let's just read some of the celestial signatures of this Aries full moon imprint and this has been building the last two weeks it will be present the next two weeks and you'll see again a revisiting of this energy within six months time as this is a culmination of the previous six months so let's jump into it Venus is at 13 degrees of Libra and you can see her here in pink okay conjunct the sun um, opposite the moon because it's a full moon but what does that mean well Venus is the ruler of Libra and I know I totally missed the Libra new moon video whoops I just have been so busy but I'm her now so let's focus in on that a little bit Venus just finished a cycle, right? She's in the middle of another cycle. She is always in a cycle, as is all are the planets. But she's about to go conjunct with the sun on October 21st, which is approximately, you know, a couple weeks or whatever um, down the line from right now. And what's interesting, it's like a week or so, right? What's interesting about that is that Venus rules Libra, which is the opposing sign of Aries. And we are in technically speaking a libra new moon phase still even though it's you know th th that's to say that the last new moon we had was a libra one it was a libra new moon so venus is really like an indicator of what is going on at some level right all attention all eyes go to venus and so venus is saying like hey i'm about to conjunct the sun are you paying attention one week from now when the moon is in the sign of cancer again squaring off allowing opportunity for manifestation i'm going to be doing something you know and what is that something what does it mean when venus is conjunct the sun well venus like any planet conjuncting the sun is going to purge and purify and in the vedic world we call this kazimi so she's going to cleanse and purify herself with the light and the might and the fire of the sunshine if you think of the amazing star that lights up our skies and grows our food grows the trees you know um allows us to process our vitamin d keeps the the globe something other than freezing right that energy the solar energy it's so intense when a planet meets it in alignment because it is purifying and you know it does cleanse and so it's going to cleanse and purify all the shit out of venus and i'm you know i'm personally really looking forward to that um but venus is like a truly um you know it's, it's an insignia of beauty and fairness and also you know this idea of justice and social like diplomacy and really like you know what makes libra so beautiful is not just the physicality of a libra it's not just the fact that they have a certain elegant look to them or that they have a certain um you know nice shape to them as a venus ruled being it's also that libra when they're in their best vibrations or their best forms their best iterations libra is also really about what's fair they really are about fairness and justice, and it doesn't mean that they're trying um, to be like 
sleuthy or manipulative or whatever like a libra is really about fairness a libra really just wants what is like just or equal or fair at the end of the day for all parties involved and that's why the best versions of libras they actually really like care about maintaining a certain sense of hey we're even you know like hey i'm gonna like um acknowledge the fact that that was wrong if it was wrong and i'm gonna adjust accordingly to level out these scales you know like that's the best version of libra libra is not about um i'm gonna take all of mine and just leave it there and have you left with nothing so the funny thing is about the axis of libra and aries like all axes is that they're a bit oxymoronic and at the same time that they're opposing and very different it's like without the other they don't exist and aries when aries is in its best vibration it's not that aries is selfish um that's like a lower vibration of aries energy but what the best side of aries has to offer as a yang to that yin illustrated previously with libra is a strong sense of independence and a strong sense of identity because the the tricky thing about being a balanced libra is that sometimes libras have a tendency to overbalance the other side of the scales and give extra to the other party and that could go in either way um generally speaking it's like self-sacrificing but you know depending on the libra and what's going on it could be the other way um especially if they have placements like strong mars energy or um something really strong in aries but you know with that said the better vibration of aries on offer now is like hey we're gonna balance out this whole situation by being self-independent and self-driven self-motivated and also self um like narrating like somebody who determines where you're going to go and what you're going to do without allowing like other people's voices to really influence you as much as possible you know like really really kind of like figuring out where is your direction where is your path to get there it's like um that's very aries aries is headstrong and aries has a sense of self and they tend to follow their own beat of their own drum so really nice time to, to play some drums if you're into that um you could play a drum that's a great thing to do as an aries energy is strong and you know i think um with venus to kind of close up that comment going kazimi this week coming up here i think that you're really going to be experiencing a lot of purification in relationships because we're still under the influence again of that libra new moon and also this house of libra is the seventh house from the full moon of aries so there's a lot of cleansing in relationships. There's a lot of purification in relationships. Um, you know, with Jupiter and Aries, we might just find there's some luck um, happening in, you know, this house as well, because Jupiter is a sign of luck. And, you know, with Mercury opposing Jupiter, I think it's a great time to tell them how you really feel. Um, so tell people how you really feel if you want to tell them how you really feel. Um mercury squaring mars so make sure that it's with compassion because it, it could come out really like critical and even mean um but you know it's a great time to cut mental cords with mercury square mars um that's a nice sort of severance energy i would say um because it's very actualizing with that 90 degree angle there so you could really find like, hey, I'm going to go on ahead and, you know, I'm going to sever that cord and you could intend it and put it into words and just do what you can mentally, even writing it out or um, articulating it, like I say, with your words in some way. And it would really kind of um, have more of a bang to it at this time, it would imply. So I wish you the best in your journey, everybody. Thank you if you've booked a reading with me. Thank you for visiting wisdomdropsastrology.com. Thank you for liking this content. It really helps the channel grow. I appreciate all the growth we've had. If you've been with me since near the beginning, you know that it's an accomplishment that we're even over 1,000 people. Um, we don't have a million or anything, but I'm like really like proud of us and thankful for all of you who have been here. So thanks for being here. If you're new, if you're old, whatever, you're great. And I appreciate the likes, comments, and shares. Happy full moon in Aries and may your light shine like a diamond as Rihanna with moon in Aries says. So with that said, through next time, until next time, may the stars be with you. Peace.